hey lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is nelo and you're watching nelo stitches today we'll be learning how to cut an off shoulder madame blouse so if this is what you're interested in please keep watching and if you're new to my channel please hit on the subscribe button below and join the family if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions don't forget to leave it on the comment below and i will do where to attend to that without further ado let's start So these are the fabric you'll be needing for this blouse. You need one and a half yard of your lace and one and a half yard of your mirror face. If you're using this um, door face for your sleeve, you need one and a half yard. And this is the lining one yard for the lining, okay? So depending on your size, okay? So I was draft on the mirror face. So I'm going to turn this to the wrong side and I'll fold this into two okay i'm using the whole mirror face i'll fold it into two so in case you're wondering um how much fabric you need to fold is your biggest measurement divided by four plus seven inches okay so in my case my biggest measurement is my hip which is um 44 divided by four will give me 11 inches and then after i marked the 11 inches what i have left was um seven inches extra okay so you work with your measurement you work with your with your size okay so after folding this is the folded part the center front and let me show you what i mean so my waist hip divided by four is 11 here so i'll just mark it and i'll check what i have left as you can see is exactly seven inches okay so that is what i have for my case in my case so i'm going to draw a marginal line here which will serve as my starting point and for this off shoulder i'm doing minus four you can do minus five or minus six so if you are doing minus six you place your tape on 5.5 .5 half inches for sewing allowance turning of the neckline so but in my case i'm doing minus four so i just place my tape on the four and i'm marking 8.5 which is my um armhole length okay and here i'm marking my bust point okay this is my armhole line or also known as chest line and my bust point okay so now I'm going to connect this together. So you place your tape on 4 if you are doing minus 4. So when I turn it, it will not be too much. It should still be um, like 4.5, okay? But if you are doing minus 6, you know it's going to go deep. So you need to add sewing allowance to that. So you mark on 5.5. So next, I'm going to place my tape on four also, and then I'll mark my under bust. So after this, I'm going to mark the length of the blouse plus 1.5 inch sewing allowance. The length of my blouse plus 1.5 inch sewing allowance, folding allowance. Okay, so I'm marking on 26.5. My The length of my blouse is 25. Okay, so I marked 26.5. So now here is the center front to start marking our dart. So my nipple to nipple measurement is 8 divided by 2 is um is four so because i'm drafting directly on the fabric i'm going to add half inch to that four so i'll be marking 4.5 i'll mark the same thing here on the shoulder line, I'm going to add 1 inch to that measurement. 4.5 plus 1 will give us 5.5. So I'm marking 5.5 on my shoulder. So now I'm going to connect. 
and then to get my bust here i'm going to mark one inch on the center front and two inches on the side This can go for every size, can go for all size, but if you want, you minus your underbust from your bust measurement, whatever you have, you divide by two. And mark one inch on the center front and mark the remaining one on the side. I have a lot of tutorials of on that, how to get an accurate bustier measurement, okay? So on the hem, um, hemline, I came up by one inch, I mean two inches. So now I forgot to mark my waistline. I'm going to mark my waist now. And then on the hemline, like I said earlier, I went up by 2 inches. And I'm going to connect my darts towards that 2 inches. So from the waistline, I take it down to the 2 inches I marked upward from the hemline. And then from the underbust line, I'm going to... Remember the markings you made should be on the underbust. And on the bust line, I came down by half an inch. I went up by half an inch. Okay, so I'm going to curve from my underbust towards that half an inch. So on my shoulder, here I'm going to mark one inch on the side and half inch on the center front. And then I'll connect. After that, you're going to blend your cup area. So next we are going to start inputting our measurement. Okay, so now we are going to start taking our measurement. Here I'm going to take my bust to divide by, okay, I'm going to do that. I'll take my shoulder minus 1.5 inch. My shoulder is 8 minus 1.5 will give us 6.5. So you're going to add your extra 1.5 inch that, you're going, that you mark as your dart. Or you hold your tape on the dart leg and place it back here and mark your 6.5. Okay okay just place it like this and then as you can see my that leg is on five i hold my tape on the five and i'll place the five here like this and then i'll mark the remaining inch which is i'll tick on 6.5 which is here or you just mark your 6.5 and then add your 1.5 inch for your that and then you have half inch sewing allowance guys i made a mistake i add a whole two inches <laughs> i thought i was back in my boss circumference so add half inch for your sewing allowance not two inches guys okay so here i'm marking my bust which is um 10 and to that i'm going to add two inches sewing allowance so it's going to be 12 inches okay i'm adding two inches okay so you measure the dart you have there i just added half inch for that dart so which means i marked 2.5 inch extra after marking my bust so here i'm going to do the same i mark my bust plus two inches seam allowance that's i marked on 12. so guys here we don't actually need on the bust measurement i made a mistake and i marked it okay but we don't need on the bust we're making a madame blouse not a bustier top or a bustier um, uh, gown okay is madame blouse and it need to be free so you don't need your under bust measurement here I'm, i made a mistake to mark it so i'll still correct that so i'm just telling you guys in case if you see any line okay so here i'm going to mark my hip divide by four which is 11 plus two inches 
okay one inch for ease and two inch for sewing allowance that's extra three inches one inch for ease and on the waistline here i'm going to mark my waist divide by four okay my waist is nine divide by four is nine plus one inch for sewing um for ease and the three inches that we cut out and two inches for sewing allowance okay i replace the three inches that and then two inches for sewing allowance one inch for ease so i'm going to connect this together so i'm connecting with the under bust circumference measurement i made earlier but i'm going to correct that now okay it's not supposed to be there i'm not supposed to use under bust measurement here because this is a madame blouse okay i'm supposed to use the waist measurement there okay so here i'm trying to tell you guys i made a mistake so i'm going to re um connect that now so i'm trying to show you guys you can use your hip curve to curve this part if you want it curvy but i just use a straight line okay so if you want it curvy you can use your hip curve and curve so here i'll just take from the waistline i'll connect straight to the bust okay like this i'm not supposed to have an under bust measurement there so i'll use another shade of chalk so that you guys will understand okay so i'll use this yellow shade of chalk this is the bust line i'll connect down to waistline so i did not use the under bust measurement again okay so from the waistline you connect straight to the bust line like so so no under bust measurement so the under bust measurement is taken only when you're making a bustier um maybe peplum blouse or a gown but for madame blouse you don't need under bust measurement so you curve your armhole this way so guys like i said before i made a mistake on the shoulder you don't need two inches sewing allowance on your shoulder you need half inch for your shoulder okay so on the side here i went up by two inches so that two inches or 1.5 so i use two inches so that your side will not be pointy your blouse side will not be pointy okay so this is what we have and now i'm going to cut this out so like i said earlier your waist i mean your shoulder plus half inch your shoulder minus 1.5 plus your dart allowance which is 1.5 or any that allowance you use so in this case i use 1.5 and then you add your half inch for joining allowance okay so right now i'm notching my on the bust and also i notched on the bust point so that i will not be confused when i'm joining the pieces together okay here i'll also notch the on the bust and the bust point so that i will be able to match them very well or accurately when joining so here is the uh, on the bust i notched it and this is the bust point i'll also notch there and then i'll cut out the excess on the shoulder and um, let me show you guys what we have after cutting so um this is what you should have after drafting looking beautiful right so the neckline i'm going to mark the neckline later when after joining okay i'll mark the neckline after joining so let's start drafting the back panel so i folded my fabric into two also for the back and this is my shoulder line this is my armhole line this is my bust line here is the waistline and this is the full length of the blouse and here i marked um 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance here okay 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance so here i'm going to mark my shoulder divide by 2 minus 1.5 and on the waistline here i'm going to come in by one inch from that zipper allowance you mark one inch inside and for the neckline i'm going to do four inches deep okay so you can decide how deep you want your waistline to be I mean your neckline to be so i'm going to connect that one inch i marked inside towards the neckline like so 
this is to contour the back so that i will not have zipper bulging at the back and then i'll take it down to the hemline also like so okay so we have successfully contoured the back and now i'm going to be adding my zipper allowance following that shape we have there i'll be adding my 1.5 inch zipper allowance following that curve shape Then after marking it, I should connect like so. As you can see, let me show you guys. I hope you guys are seeing. This is the shape you will have for your zipper. Okay, so this is how it should look. So now I'm going to connect my neck up to the shoulder point here. Like so. You mark of your neck any style you want. Maybe round neck, V neck, whatever you want. That is what you're going to do. So here is the circle round neck for the... Um, neckline okay so next we are going to mark our dart so the dart i'm working with is the same 4.5 that i marked so i'm going to mark 4.5 like so and in order to get a straight line i'll measure from that point to the where the fabric ends okay i'll measure from the 4.5 to where the fabric ends so that i'll have a straight line okay so i measure from there to where the fabric ends so as you can see it ends at 3.5 i mean 5 6.5 so i'm going to mark the same 6.5 here just to get a straight line for my dart i'll mark the same thing upward here also 6.5 okay so you know if you're marking um i mark the same thing here also upward on the armhole line so i'll connect with a straight line like so up to the neckline because i want my dart to extend to the neckline okay so i want the dart to extend to the neckline i'm going to mark the same thing on the neckline the same 6.5 so i mark that on the shoulder so i'm going to extend that line upward I'm gonna stop at the neckline because I want to extend my dart to the neckline, so that is why I marked the dart upward like so. So now on the waistline, I'm going to mark half half inch on both sides or 0 0.75, anyone you like. So here I think I used 0 0.75, and on the hem, I'm gonna come up by two inches, then I'll connect like so. And I'll connect upward also to this neckline. Okay, like this. I'll do the same to the other side also. So our dart is successfully marked. Okay, so now I'm going to input all my measurements okay my bust circumference divided by four my waist circumference divided by four i'm going to start from here plus my dart allowance okay my waist circumference divided by four is nine okay i'm going to mark the nine and then i added half inch for ease and i'll measure this dart i replace it so the dart is 1.5 i replace the dart here and i'll do the same thing on the bust i'll measure my bust divide by four following that shape of your zipper and then i'll replace this dart here and then add my two inches for sewing allowance okay i'll do the same thing on the um whatever i marked here i'm going to mark the same here okay so i marked my bust points there and on the hem i'm going to mark my hip divide by four plus one inch for ease and two inches for sewing allowance okay so i'm just trying to cross check my measurement so here i'm going to mark my hip divide by four plus three inches two inches for sewing allowance one inch for ease okay and i'm going to connect that like so 
and I'll connect this one upward also to the boss line and here okay and then next I'm going to remember to add your half inch for sewing allowance on the shoulder line okay so instead of marking 6.5 you mark 6 inches on this armhole line, you measure your bust divided by 4 plus 2 inches because there is no much that intake there. So no need of adding that allowance and then you connect like so and cover your armhole. But I marked exactly what I used on my chest um, bust line. Okay, so I'll just leave it like that. I'll trim it off later when sewing. So now I'm going to... On the side, I went up by two inches and I'll connect down. Okay, so on the armhole line, your chest line, you mark your bust divide by four plus two inches for sewing allowance, and then you replace the little that that is there. So mine was much, as you can see, I have excess there, but I just left it like that. So here, yeah, I'm cutting the neckline. So if you don't want your dart to get to the neckline, you stop one inch above your bust line and then you connect. That is what I'm trying to show you guys. Sorry. You connect like this. Okay. You stop one inch above your bust line if you don't want the dart to extend to the neckline. Okay. So let's continue cutting. Okay, so on the chest line, your armhole line, like I said, you mark your bust divided by four plus extra two inches and half inch for ease. Okay, don't forget to add your ease allowance. So you're adding extra 2.5 inch. Okay, so this is what we have for the back and I'm going to um, cut open the dart area like this. So this is what we have after cutting. This is the back panel. So you notch your zipper allowance and also you notch your waistline so that you'll be able to join your fabric correctly. So here I'm notching my zipper allowance. I'll also notch that on the other side also. Okay, so this is what you have after drafting the back and I'm going to use this now to cut my lace fabric. Okay, so I'll place this on the lace and I'll cut out exactly. So I'm not using the scallop, I'm going to be cutting out the scallop. But if you're using your scallop, you fold this, make sure you fold your um, mirror face and then you take it downward like so like this and then you cut remember to add the scallop uh, length to your length okay but i'm not using the scallop i'm going to cut out the scallop and i'll cut the lace exactly the same shape as this so this is what i mean i cut the lace exactly the same shape as this okay and in our next tutorial i'll be showing you how to join this together Okay, so you can sew this to hold it in place. The lining is also the same thing. The lining is just 1.5 inch shorter than the main fabric. Okay, it's 1.5 inch shorter than the main fabric. Okay, so you can use your uhu gum round to gum it. Okay, or you can sew on it. You can use your uhu gum round your um mirror face and then you place your lace on top to hold it together or you go stitch following the shape and sew on it to hold the lace and the mirror face together 
so here guys i've done that i use the gum to hold this together i use the gum and i finished it as you can see to hold this together so in our next tutorial we'll be joining this thank you guys for